What is up all you sexy nerds? Grizzly McBee here and I'm coming at you today with kind of a, a, a series review. Um, now this show used to be on Comedy Central back in the day and they've just now put it back out onto YouTube and that is the show The Legend of Neil. It's kind of like a spoof of The Legend of Zelda. Freaking comedic geniuses. These guys are hilarious. The channel that they are uh, that they are with is effing funny. Uh, and it's on YouTube. All 20 episodes is there. I, cu I couldn't stop watching. I mean, I, I saw it back in the day and just watching it again, just bring back all kinds of memories. Great actors. Felicia Day, epic female hot nerd, redhead. Yeah. She's great in everything that she did. The storyline is really good. You know, it's been quite a while since I played The Legend of Zelda. So it, it kind of took me back a bit. And uh, to give you a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of an insight on the series, it's about a guy named Neil. Go figure, right? And, and before I go any farther, mind you, this is definitely for adults. Definitely for adults. Yeah, so it's about a guy named Neil who uh, does some things, makes himself go unconscious, and, uh, and gets sucked into the game of Zelda. And, and I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that as to how um, and, and why he got sucked into the game. And uh, everybody thinks he is Link. He uh, kind of sees Zelda in a vision, thinks she is super hot. I mean, uh, I have to agree with him. She is smoking hot. At the same time, he wants to go home. Yeah, so when he finally gets to that point where he's just like, no, I'm done with the game. I'm gonna, you know, let the bad guy kill me. I'm done. I, I don't want this anymore. He dies and it goes to the quit or continue screen. You know, with the, the NES back in the day, once you died, I mean, you had the chance to quit the game or continue from where you left off. Once he once he died, he lost his, his first life. He went back into the real world. And then he was having dinner with his, his family and that went batshit crazy AWOL. And uh, he decided that his life was better in the game of Zelda as him being Link. So he went back home and did what he did to make himself go unconscious again and back into the game he went with the solemn mindset of, okay, the guy that killed me needs to die and I'm going to sleep with Zelda. It's just, it's just gonna happen. He runs into a weird, like interdimensional Harry Potter. It gets a little weird, but it's hilarious at the same time. I mean, I favorited all those videos up just so that I don't have to go looking for them. Definitely a series where you are going to want to watch it again. Each episode is, I want to say four to 10 minutes at most. And there's 20 episodes in the entire series. Well worth it. I would have to rate uh, The Legend of Neil when it comes to nerddom and, uh, well, okay, we'll, we'll say rating it on nerddom alone. I would say a solid 8 to 8.5. On the hilarious factor, the comedy factor, definitely a 9 to 9.5. Because I hadn't watched anything that hilarious in quite some time. All in all, I would rate The Legend of Neil a solid, solid nine. The, the laugh factor's there. The talent of the actors are there. And the fact that, you know, this started really as online content. Um, and then, you know, from my understanding, got picked up by Comedy Central, 
Um, and that's where I saw it was Comedy Central. And then uh, dropped from Comedy Central and just kind of in limbo for a while. And then now they're back on YouTube. Well, you can uh, go to them, go to their, their YouTube uh, channel, F and Funny. Link will be in the description below. Um, show them some love. They've got a lot of content on there. You know, if you watch till the very end of the last episode, you will see hopefully the beginning of a new series with them. Um, granted, it has been quite a while, but there are rumors that they may be uh, doing that. Uh, so here's to hoping. So until the next review podcast, uh, online gameplay interview whatever we have stay nerdy and sexy always